我当初为什么会选择这个工作？其实大学就考上这个科系，然后大学毕业之后也算运气比较好，考上公职，然后就进到公部门就工作，一直到现在。就你去做案件的时候，其实我觉得有些民众或是他已经很老了那种啦，北他真的比较少看到女生的车。对，一样眼光的勇气啦，然后拿出自己的实力跟本事来证明，然后同时。让民众知道说，专业才是重点，性别不是主力，然后职业不分性别。就是我觉得在现在新时代的价值里，就是女生还是要打破现在既有的社会框架，去追寻或是抓住自己的想要的东西，然后不是被周遭眼光来限制自己。真的。要讨论性别的差异，我觉得应该是说体力的部分吧。毕竟你车辆跑来跑去，那你要扛着仪器这样跑，所以多少还是有点弱势啊。但是女生也有很多优点，就是我觉得在职场上，就是也不应该因为体力或是其他因素而被限制这样。那个黄佩琪小姐大概是民国一百零六年进入我们所里。啊，刚进来的时候，嗯，我心中会有个疑问，说，这个小女生有办法接受测量这个考验吗？哦，经过我这三年多来的观察，她确实是很优秀，然后也能够对这些困难能够很容易的应付，她能够很有耐心。用他专业来说服他，使百姓能够放下一些想要跟他争吵的一些念头，然后静下心来听他解释，我消除很多不必要的一些误会，哦，这个都是男性测量员所做不到的。因为我觉得目前的测量其实确实大部分还是以男性为主啊，但是我觉得这几年其实女性测量员也有慢慢增加的趋势。毕竟社会上大部分认知就是，还是觉得女性应该做某一些他们认为女生应该做的工作，所以我觉得首先应该要消除自己的怀疑啦。如果我们自己都不能相信自己的理想的话，那别人也肯定无法接受你。所以我觉得就是男生跟女生还是应该要有相同的可能性。随着性别平等观念的推广，我们社会慢慢的认知跟学习到，不论是在学习方面、工作或生活，女性可以如同男性，完全有能力去执行并完成任务。相同的，男性也一如女性有能力照顾好家庭跟小孩。当然，这是我们期待多数能够办到。但是呢，我想我们跳脱传统的性别刻板印象是最重要的。我们期待去看见不同性别在各个领域的发展表现，也期待民众能够多多的鼓励、尊重跟肯定。在讲习开始之前，为了让成功大学一百一十一学年度境外新生讲习能够顺利的进行，请各位把手机调至静音或震动模式。因防疫需求，请以梅花座方式入座，场内禁止饮食，并请全程佩戴口罩。谢谢大家的合作。As we are about to begin, we would like to remind you to put your mobile device into silence or vibrate mode. 
In accordance with the pandemic prevention measures, drinking and eating are strictly prohibited inside the venue. There will be the alternate seating arrangement. Please sit on the spot with the proper cover. Keep an empty seat next to you and remain on the seat throughout the whole session. You may also require to wear your mask throughout the whole session. Thank you for your cooperation. 尊敬的王孝文国际长，各位贵宾，境外生与学人事务组的各位老师，亲爱的同学们，大家好，我是来自交管系的陈子宇，我是来自外文系的何明志，我们是,我们是今天的司仪。在新学年开学之际，我们满怀喜悦地迎来了成大第一百一十一学年度境外新生，在此向今年入学的境外新生表示最热烈的欢迎和祝贺。Good afternoon to all the NCQ students, distinguished guests, faculty, and staff. I'm Devon from the Department of Foreign Languages and Literature, and I'm Amy from the Department of Transportation and Communication Management Science. We, we are the MC for today's, today's event. event. In celebration of the new academic year, we are delighted to welcome this year's first long-awaited event, the 2022 fall semester overseas student orientation. On behalf of National Chenggong University, we would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of the freshmen. 国际长因公务不课参与实体讲习，但他仍以事先录影片的方式参与。现在，让我们有请推动本校国际化经验丰富及时常关心境外生的王孝文国际长，在线上为大家致欢迎词。To formally begin this event, we are pleased to have our Vice President of International Affairs, Professor Xiao Wenwen, to deliver the welcoming speech. Although she is unable to attend the event in person due to her busy schedule, she has already sent us a video of her remark. Let us watch together. To your own school, your own campus, and your home for the next few years. So, on behalf of Office of International Affairs of NCTU, it's my great pleasure to welcome all of you. And a special welcome, especially to those of you who are first here in this campus, and for those of you who are still in the quarantine. Thank you for joining us live. I'm here to say a little bit about NCTU. National Chengdu University has been an international, uh, influential, and a global responsible university. So while you are here pursuing your professional studies, I highly encourage you to try to meet your advisors, uh, talk with them about your interests, about your aspirations, and uh, ask their opinions about how to select the courses. And I encourage you to go forth in the spirit of exploration and uh, uh, adventure. The new things that you try here can for sure be something that you will be happy about in the future. So try to take the intellectual classes and choose a course in a field that you know nothing about. And it should be an adventure and you shouldn't be scared. Because uh, those are what education is about, and those are what NCKU is offering. NCKU has incredibly um, array of faculty. They are professional and they are leaders in their expertise. So I also highly encourage you to talk to them. Um, well, seek their office hours or outside of the lab or the classes. And, and uh, understand how they show their expertise and their contribution in our real world problems. And they might challenge you, but the way they challenge you might be a very good learning process for you. And they are always the good leaders to guide you and to open the doors of the new possibilities for you. And also, I would encourage you to go outside of your lab or, or of your classroom so try to explore the city, to explore Taiwan, because Tainan, Taiwan is full of history and culture that might be very different from your own culture. So try to know more about Taiwan, try to know more about Tainan. So I would like to take this opportunity again to welcome you. And it's our great um, privilege to have all of you here. And I'm very looking forward to your fresh experiences. 
I hope that in the next few months, next few years, that you can discover uh, the, the beauty and the, um, the, the, the charm of this university and the city. So good luck to all of you. All the best. And I hope to see you very, very soon in the near future in person on campus. Thank you. Thank for the opening remark, Professor Wen. With your encouragement, we have no doubt our freshmen will have a bright university light ahead of them. 接下来，让我们欢迎境外生与学人事务组的大家长张卷西组长。张组长因公务不课参与实体讲习。但他把对各位的祝福以声音的方式呈现。Now may I present to you the director of O Triple S, Professor Antonio Chang. Although he is unable to attend the event due to his busy schedule, he has already sent us a record of his remark. Let us watch together. 请看投影幕。Hi, I'm, I'm Professor Antonio Chung, the director of the O Triple S. Division of National Qing Kung University. Welcome, welcome you all. It's nice to see everyone here. First of all, I want to give a special thanks to the deans, faculties, administrators, and staff and students who have made this specific event possible for all of us. A huge amount of thought and time went into thinking with my team for finally a physical orientation with you all. I'm very delighted to welcome you again, the class of 2022. It may be dreamed for some of you to be able to study abroad, especially in National Qingkung Universities, whether you begin your experience online or in person. I know your international studies will definitely broaden your global experiences. During the orientation, you will have the opportunities to learn more about the strategies for adjusting to college successfully, getting involved on campus, and making good choices for your program or courses. These sections provide practical and real-life solutions to your state at National Qingkung University or even more so in Taiwan. And finally, I think that the National Qingkung University, the old Triple S division, is about more than building a welcoming campus. It's about enhancing the quality of your education. It's my hope that you will appreciate how the differences in people, experiences, ideas you encountered contribute to your own learning and growth. Once again, thank you and welcome to the National Qingkung University. 感谢组长对新生的关心与祝福。Thank you, thank you for your wonderful remark, Professor Chen. Thank you for your caring and blessings. 特别感谢移民署及台南市劳工局的到来。接下来，让我们有请境外生与学人事务组的杨慧芬小姐，代表成功大学颁发感谢状。Now, we would like to thank the representative of National Immigration Agents and Labor Affairs Bureau of Tainan City Government joining this event. We would like to give certificate as a token of appreciation. Now, we would like to invite Mr. Lin Zhi Hong to the stage. Now we would like to invite Mr. Lin Yongzhi to the stage. We also would like to invite Mr. Lin Yongzhi to the stage. We also would like to invite. 
Mr. Chen Weiting to the stage. Now we would like to invite all the representatives of national immigration agents to the stage. Please 接下来有请台南市政府劳工局肖惠文科长。Now we would also like to invite Mrs. Xiao Huiwen to the stage. 我们请肖科长留步，接下来有请袁瑞宏鼓掌。Now we we would like to invite Mr. Yan Ruihong to the stage. 我们请严鼓掌留步。我们请严鼓掌留步。接下来有请林玉婷先生。Now we like to invite Mr. Lin Yiting to the stage. 我们请林先生留步。最后有请蔡秋菊小姐。We also like to invite Mrs. Tsai Chou Tsai Chouji to the stage. 最后，我们有请台南市政府劳工局全体阮光贵宾进行合影。Now we'd like to invite all the representatives remain on the stage. 请各位回座休息，让我们以热烈的掌声感谢他们的到来。Please give a round of applause for all the representatives. 现在是合照时间，请老师们待在原位，后方及左右两侧的同学，请集中至讲堂中央。Now it's time for a group photo session. For those students on the both sides and the back, please move to the middle of the hall. Thank you for your cooperation.
请各位留在原位，我们即将进行第二张合影。Please, uh, please, I would like to remind all of the students, please remain on the same spot as we will have another photo. We also would like to take another photo. Please remain on the same spot. Thank you, thank you for all of your cooperations. Good.以下讲座将分为中英文两场，与聆听中文版讲习者，请留在本演讲室。与聆听英文版讲习者，请移步至第二演讲室。before we move to the next speaker, we would like to announce that the following session will be divided into two, one for the English and one for the Chinese. This hall will be occupied by those who wish to remain for the Chinese session. If you would like to listen to the English version, please move to the next room.
Welcome back. In accordance with the pandemic prevention measure, there will be alternate seat arrangement. Please sit on the spot with the proper colors. Keep on the empty seat next to you and remain on the same seat throughout the whole session. Without further ado, let me introduce the member of OSSS, Ms. Messing, to the stage. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Hmm? Is everyone sleeping? Good afternoon. Thank you. All right. My name is Maxine Yang. I'm the ex executive manager of um, divisions of um, overseas students and scholar services. Okay. On behalf of um, National Chengkong University, I sincerely welcome you to join this big family. Okay. And uh, I will be. Uh, here to uh, make a brief introduction of um, what uh, so-called the O Triple S do uh, for the students. Okay, and uh, remember that um, you are not alone. When you come here, of course, you study in your departments. You are from all uh, different departments, and uh, sometimes you may find it difficult to talk to the department staff because I have to be honest. Um, not everybody in the NCKU can speak English well, and sometimes they have difficulty to understand um, international students, especially some uh, departments, they didn't accept uh, international students before, they had just um, um, uh, admitted uh, international students for this past few years. So they, um, they didn't have um, many experiences um, interacting with some um, the international students. So please do understand that um, they sometimes they are uh, they don't. It's not that they don't want to help you. It's that they don't understand what you need and uh, what kind of help they can help you. Okay. So remember that um, O Triple S is always your best friend. Oh, hopefully. Um, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So remember, uh, I think people here have already joined us on our live account, right? Um, does everybody, uh, anyone doesn't know that we have line uh, official account? No? Good. So uh, I assume that everybody here has already um, talked to us on our line uh, account. Okay? It's not that. Um, because you just came here and then we need to uh, uh, know where you are and then uh, is, have you uh, got all pre well prepared for coming over, that kind of thing. But remember, uh, the following studies, uh, the, the years, will be with you, okay? You are not alone. Talk to us anytime you want, okay? But if sometimes if you find it uh, that uh, we kind of reply your message late. It's not that we are lazy, it's because um, you know, too many messages and then too many students are asking questions, but try to you know, resent again. We will definitely get back to you. Okay, so I'll stop here and then uh, go to our PowerPoint. Okay, so uh, I'll make a Introduction of our staff. This is very important. You need to really pay attention. Why? Because you know, sometimes uh, uh, you may find uh, dif different um, kind of, uh, you have different kind of questions, and then you don't know which person you need to talk to, right? So, uh, for example, you have academic uh, questions, you have scholarship questions, you have um, like um, if you want to get a work permit, that kind of stuff. Who do you need to talk to? Okay, so I'll give you a brief introduction. And then remember, you are from different colleges and uh, we are handling, all of us handle different colleges. So remember which person you should talk to. Okay, so this is Aaron Zhong. Uh, he's our deputy uh, director. He's uh, basically, his job is to organize um, um, he's the coordinator between uh, us, the staff, and um, the higher, mana uh, higher management team. Okay, and then he's right now he's uh, in charge of um, College of Management. So, if uh, you have, uh, if you are from College of Management, 
this is the person you should talk to, okay? And then uh, also he's, uh, he's in charge of um, overseas scholars. So I know some, of course, you think uh, scholars are not related to you, but um, uh, you may, uh, your professors may have um, the uh, short time, uh, short term visiting scholars and may join your lab, so yeah, sometimes that happens. So if um, any uh, scholars uh, related questions, you should talk to uh, Aaron, okay? And this is me. Okay, I know the picture doesn't look like me, but it's me. <clears throat> few years ago. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I am in charge of um, the College of um, Liberal Arts and the College of uh, Planning and Design. And uh, uh, I have a very important job. I think uh, most of the students are very interested in, guess what? What's my major job? No idea? Scholarship. Huh? Not interested? Oh, I make it. I think we can finish this presentation very soon. <laughs> okay. I'm in charge of um, National Chang'an University, so-called the Distinguished Scholarship. Most of the students uh, have um, re uh, been rewarded this scholarship. I know some of uh, the students here uh, got the uh, MOFA. Taiwan scholarship, some have uh, MOE scholarship, and some have um, the, the oh, we have um, the, oh, the Indonesian uh, government scholarship, so-called DICTI. And then we have uh, elite. So different kind of um, scholarship, but uh, most of the students here, I think uh, you have been awarded. Uh, NCKU Distinguished Scholarship, okay? So as a first year student, uh, the scholarship uh, duration is for one academic year. But of course, you will study uh, more than one year, okay? So for master's students, you have two years. Uh, for PhD students, you have four years. And uh, this year, you don't need to worry about anything because uh, you just, uh, study hard, of course, and then you uh, remember the requirement. I will tell you the requirement later, okay, but let me finish this first. So after one year, you are all so-called the full admitted students. So your scholarship duration is from this September to next August, one year, 12 months, okay? So when do you uh, have to do something to apply for your scholarship again. Now, of course not. Some students are so, you know, they are so nervous and then they say, oh, I have to, I have to keep tracking my scholarship status. Don't worry about that, okay? As I said, you have one year duration, which means in this year, you just do your job. You study, you obtain enough credits, and then the next year, uh, at the end of August, we will announce the uh, reapplication information, okay? Just follow our instru instruction, you never get lost, okay? So don't worry, and then you just keep, some students there, so, yeah, of course, they, they get nervous because they, they want to know if they can get a um, scholarship again. Most, most of the time, I have to say, most of the time, people reapply, they get scholarship again. But sometimes, they don't get scholarship. Why? Lazy. Lazy. Good point. Yes, if your academic uh, average doesn't meet the requirement, phew, yeah, bye-bye scholarship, right? Okay, and one more. Hmm? Apply it, okay? If you forget to apply, of course you don't get scholarship. We did have students uh, made this kind of mistake before. Of course, later, uh, the department and uh, us, we seriously made a lot of effort to just 
change this mistake. And then it turned out that uh, I was the person who had to write a report because I didn't ask the students to apply for the scholarship. Why is that? I don't know, because I sent out the uh, uh, email and then I asked the department to ask the students to turn in their application material and they just chose not to do it on time and uh, it turns that um, we have announced the list one month already and the students came to me I didn't get scholarship oh you didn't apply why is it my fault I don't know please don't make me write report again okay I remember you now I have good memory <laughs> anyway apply just do our I have to already told you, at the end of August, you should re uh, reapply for your next year's scholarship. So you know it now, don't forget, okay? All right, and then one more important thing is, if you are a um, master student, you have to take, uh, you have to obtain, not take, obtain. Means you, you know, sometimes you fail, it happens and um, you need to obtain at least 15 credits for the first academic year, then you are eligible to reapply for your second year scholarship, okay? And if you are PhD student, you have to obtain one third of your uh, graduation credits, then you are eligible. As for the undergraduate students, uh, we, we don't care about the, the the credits is just that uh, you need to get the average at least 70 and then you are eligible to compete the thing is uh, for master and PhD students it's easier to get a scholarship because seriously it's not difficult to get the average of 80 two terms of average 80 not difficult but for the undergraduates it's quite difficult it's challenging I have to say so basically uh, the students uh, you need to be ranked and uh, 20 or 40 percent in your class or you are ranked in the top 40 percent of the international bachelor students then you can get a scholarship so it's difficult so I am here to tell you please study hard I know it's college, it's time to have fun, but at the same time, you know, you study abroad. So scholarship is very important, I have to say. Yeah, I don't want you to suffer. I want you to get a scholarship and then, you know, study happily, get a degree and go home, make contribution, okay? Thank you. All right. So um, this is for the scholarship part, and then I know if you have any questions, including the Taiwan scholarship uh, questions, you can ask me. Even though I don't, uh, I am not in charge of uh, um, MOFA and MOE students anymore. I was, but not anymore. But still, I'm your good friend. You can still talk to me, no problem. Some, uh, I heard the, some people call me. I am their Taiwan mama. I personally don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that title. I want to be your Taiwan big sister, okay? Call me your Taiwan big sister. Thank you. I don't want to be a mama. All right. I'm crying inside. Okay. All right. So, scholarship, okay? Oh. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll tell you later. Okay, scholarship. And then this is uh, Winnie. Winnie is here. Okay. Hi. Okay, so Winnie is uh, in charge of um, College of Medicine, uh, College of well, Academic of Innovative uh, semi Semiconductor and uh, Sustainable uh, Manufacturing. Blah, blah, blah. It's a new college anyway. Okay. And then, very important, this. Body Body Program. Have you heard of Body Body Program? Yes. Do you know what Body Body Program is? Kind of. Not sure. Okay. 
uh, a ba <laughs> body body program. Um, the body should be your second good friend. I am your first good friend, okay? Uh, should be your second good friend <laughs> at NCKU. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, this uh, program is uh, we have um, the, uh, the, the NCKU already enroll e existing students. They can join the body body program and then they can uh, be so called a volunteer to help the new students. Okay, so because they have uh, already ha they already have the experience of um, this environment and then um, how to like um, enroll courses and then um, uh, the the rules of um, the, the university, everything. So uh, you are new here, you don't know. And then they can tell you, they share the, their experience with you. And some people, in, according to our experience, a lot of people did become very good friends. Of course, some, sometimes, you know, we have found um, very, very little students who, uh, who didn't, re who were not, enthusiastic of um, helping the students and then they joined the program. We didn't know because they show, when they had the interview, they show they were very helpful. But um, it turned out, I didn't know why. Probably he didn't like, he, maybe he wanted a girl but uh, he was assigned a boy, you know. But we try our best not to let this happen because we have uh, more control of the students now. So uh, right now you're the first year student, you cannot be a buddy. But um, if you are good and uh, you kind of speak um, Chinese too, because you need to help to communicate with um, the university administrators. So if you can speak Chinese well later, then you can become a buddy too. You can help the students. and. Um, uh, for undergraduates, you can earn a credit for that. It's a general education credit, okay? But for graduate students, uh, no. Okay. And then next, this is Lena, and uh, she's in charge of um, College of Bioscience and Biotechnology. Uh, College of Social Science and the Ming Wu School of Computing. This is also a new uh, uh, school, okay? And uh, she's in charge of um, the, uh, the overseas students uh, scholarship. And so not related to this part of some students, okay? And uh, she's in charge of um, uh, overseas Chinese students club, which is not related to you, okay? Next, this is Shay. Hi, <laughs> Shay. Uh, she's in charge of College of Engineering. Okay, you may wonder why only college for her. Is she special? Yes, of course she's special. She's from Malaysia. Okay, but um, the main thing is, this college has the most students. Remember that. Uh, well. Probably you don't know. Okay, a very uh, short story. NCKU was established in 1931 as the, the uh, so-called uh, uh, engineering uh, uh, college of um, under the, the Japanese uh, uh, colony period. Okay, this so uh, NCKU was founded as a uh, an engineering school. Okay, that's why we have most students in this college. This college is huge. Okay, the scale can be uh, it's, it can be big enough uh, to compare to other smaller uh, universities. It's one university size, you know. So she has a lot of students. That's why she has only one college. Okay, but she's also uh, in charge of non. NCKU scholarship. So uh, if we have, remember, uh, not only NCKU can offer you scholarship, we also have a lot of um, private sector, like um, banks, like um, private companies. They do have, um, sometimes they, they have um, this scholarship information and then they will forward the information to us, to ask us to promote the information. So do pay attention to our Facebook, our uh, website, uh, 
not every time that uh, we will send out the, the information up via emails. Um, the, the thing is, uh, one, one very important thing is, uh, NCKU, every student is assigned uh, like an a, a email, as NCKU GS email, okay? And I didn't know why. Uh, before, according to our experience, students never check that email account. We send, because we send them the email through the, the school system, it automatically uh, sent to that emails. And students never check the email. So how can we deliver the information to you? So please, do one thing, very important thing. If you don't want to use that email, but please, one time, just one time, go to the, the email account, okay? And then click a button, forward. Forward to your favorite email account. For example, my email account I like to use, uh, before I use Hotmail, never. Now, now, now I don't use it. I use uh, Yahoo, okay? So I can click uh, the, uh, the button forward. I can forward all the emails from my GS to my Yahoo account. And I can just check my Yahoo account every day because it's on my um, smartphone. I can, you know, it, it you know, it uh, reminds me when, when uh, a new email comes, right? So do that just one time, one, one time. And then you can forget about that email. It doesn't matter anymore. Yes. So do we already have Everybody has it. Just you, me too. Uh, did you? Uh, what's that? Uh, you all have NCKU Co-op, right? KUAP. You you use your uh, NCKU account, uh, email account, to, to, yes, just that. But some people don't want to use that Gmail. But I personally love the GS account a lot. Seriously, it's so convenient. It can be the the easiest thing to access to a lot of related things. And also remember, it has the cloud. And then the cloud storage is your very good friend. Because a lot of students, I don't know, some people like to store their, um, uh, their files, their information in the, you know, the small devices, like um, a flash disk or something. And then they just throw it away. And then, oh, professor, I lost my, I lost my flash disk. It's not an excuse, please. Now everybody use cloud storage. So do use it and then it's free, right? So everybody can think about it. Okay. And then last, uh, bef uh, besides that, that um, the private sector's uh, information, we will uh, uh, post. So Shay's in charge of that. And uh, one more thing is we have this e the job matching for overseas student thing. Okay. So we have this uh, also like um, the private sector's uh, scholarship. Some companies will give us um, the information of they want to hire like uh, the part time uh, part time uh, workers or something. And then uh, we have this platform to uh, list all the job vacancies available. So from time to time, you can check. And then if you want, like um, you have difficulty finding a job or something, part-time job. I mean, part-time job, OK? So uh, you can send us your needs. And then you know, we ha if we have, uh, happen to have um, the, the job, your dream job, dream part-time job, then we will you know, help you matching. All right, this is Tim, and uh, he's in charge of uh, College of uh, Electronic, uh, Ele Electrical Engineering and Computer Science and the College of Science, okay? And she, he's in charge of a mainland Chinese uh, student scholarship, and uh, also he's a coordinator of um, uh, on-campus uh, uh, accommodation, health examination for overseas students, okay? So if you have um, these questions, you can line Tim, okay? 
Next. Okay. I have finished、um, the staff introduction. So far, do you have any question? No. Am I talking too fast, too slow? My English is too bad. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Okay.、Uh, now I want to talk about NHI. Okay.、Uh, does everybody know what NHI is? Of course, it's written there. <laughs> It's a national health insurance. Okay, I have to be proudly say that national、uh, health insurance is a one very good policy that Taiwanese government offers. With this,、um, I don't know、uh, the country you're from. Is it easy to get uh, uh, to see a doctor or、uh, how's the medical treatment in your country? And、uh, how, what's the expenses you need to have? But for NHI, according to what I've heard from the international students' feedback, NHI is really great. First, it's cheap. Second,、uh, you can even walk, and then you can see a clinic if you have a cold, you have a flu, or what? Now, whatever. Yeah, if you have something serious, you need to go to a big hospital. But the the minor、uh, cold or headache, you can go to a clinic, and then you just pay the registration fee, one fifteen or one fifty、uh, or two hundred NT, and then you get uh, professional uh, treatment and、uh, also the medication if needed. Okay, it's very very convenient. But in order to、uh, get、um, the NHI to be eligible to apply for NHI, you need to stay in Taiwan for over 180 days. Okay, why should I?、Uh, why am I、uh, be so specific? Because I know you are from many countries far away, and then you miss home. So after. Uh, coming here for like、uh, two months, three months, you miss home. Especially if you're from like、um, Vietnam, Indonesia,、um, Asian countries. I mean, if you're from、uh, Western countries, you probably, even you are homesick, you, you just endure because you, you, it's too far and it's too expensive to go back home, like you're in Europe, right? But if like you, if you are from The, the Asian countries, it's not. It's just a few hours to fly home, and then you say, "Oh, I want to go home." Of course, you can go home. But remember, you have during the first the, the first semester, the first 180 days, you need to stay 180 days. This is uh, you uh, if you happen to travel abroad, you can stay. Uh, outside of Taiwan, less than one month, and then you need to come back, and then we add、uh, till you have 180 days in Taiwan, totally. Then you are eligible. Otherwise, the date will be postponed, postponed, postponed. Okay. So I have this、uh, students before. I forgot which country, but、uh, he just went home three. Three times, or, or three, two times, or three times、uh, during the the first year, and then he he never even till he is second year he didn't have his NHI because he didn't meet the requirement. It's not possible for him to get the NHI, and then bad thing happened. What? Traffic accident. It happens. I will tell you more later. Super, super important. You please pay big, 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 big attention to it. Okay. And then, yeah. If if you have NHI, you don't need to worry about the operation, the you know the you know fixing break、uh, broken bones thing. But、uh, he didn't. And then it turned out he had to pay、uh, like twenty, twenty-two. No, no, two hundred. Something thousand NTD, my God, kill me. Yes.、Um, so you cannot apply for the national insurance until you finish Taiwan for six months. Yes, 
you stay physically 180 days. You have Taiwan scholarship and then you cannot apply? No, it, it, it says according to the Taiwan source, you have to apply for the Hanuman Officer. Mm-hmm. So I cannot do that for six months, even though you're applying for solar Well, every I mean every student, every NCKU student should apply for NHI. That's why I'm telling you, even you have homesick or you have something emergent, you need to go back home and then do it, try to finish it within a month and then come back. Get the national insurance first. This is very important. This is a big protection, I have to say. Later I'm going to tell you a very sad story. It's about this, okay? Anyway, remember the date. One eighty, okay, and that's all. <laughs> okay, and if you are eligible, you do the math and then say, okay, it's one hundred and eighty days that I have been in Taiwan already. I want to apply for my NHI. How do you do it? Come to see us. You need to pick up the 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 application form, fill it out, and then bring photocopies of. Uh, you will have ARC at that time. The ARC is um, your uh, ID in Taiwan, okay? So zero copy both sides and then bring it to our office and then a one, two inch photo, okay? Okay, work permit. Later, the, we have um, the, the guest from the Bureau of um, uh, Labor. They will uh, make uh, more detailed introduction of um, the work permit. But uh, I'm here just to remind you that uh, to be able to apply for a work permit is uh, you need to be enrolled as a degree student. So which means if you are exchange students, no, you cannot apply for a work permit. Okay? And a work permit, what is different between the work permit and the working visa? The thing is work permit is only for students. You are all students, you are all admitted students, so you can apply for a work permit as long as your department agrees, okay? I have to say, because some, as I know, some departments at NCKU, they, uh, they don't allow the first semester students to apply for a work permit. Don't ask me why, ask them, talk to them, okay? And then you need, you have to, have a work permit to be able to uh, do part-time job. It is very important. If you don't have work permit and then you work, you get caught, you don't die. You pay penalty and it's a lot, okay? But you know, some, sometimes money is like a, a student's life. You take money from them, you take, them, you take their life. So yeah, I know, it's very important. It's important to me too. Right? So don't do it. If you want to have a part-time job, get a work permit first before you do it. Very important. Okay? And the, or the application is online, so you can, if you are interested, you can scan the QR code. And then I assume that everybody has already got the handouts, so you have um, the, the, the mm, links. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have said that um, Shay is in charge of um, the part-time job uh, matching thing. Okay, so the, this is um, our platform, it's the bulletin, so here is the job listing. Uh, so yeah, you may take a look if um, uh, you see something you are interested in and then uh, see how they, they're, wh what they are offering. And then, yeah, okay, you can take a look from time to time. Okay, and then this, uh, you can scan it and then just access to this uh, platform. It's quite easy, okay? This is very important, but uh, I have to say, uh, this thing applies for undergraduates only. Uh, who's undergraduates here? One, two, uno, bien, okay. 
All right. Uh, okay. But to your knowledge, I would say, if you fail two thirds of the credits in one semester, you have one more chance. Before, when I was a student, a college student, if you have fail、uh, half of your credits, bye bye, no chance, go home. But now,、uh, the university is getting more generous, kinder. I don't know, but anyway, they gave you. They give you a chance, okay? So if you fail, happen to, you know, I miss my country, I miss my girlfriend, I whatever, and then I just、uh, couldn't pay attention to my studies. Anyway, a lot of reasons I know. It can be complicated. So you fail two thirds. It's okay. You still have one more chance. Don't fail half of your credits in the following. Any semester, if you do, then this university has the the rule to dismiss you, and then you have to take the airplane and then go home. <laughs> easy, <laughs> yes, very easy. It's easy to fail two thirds and no half. Yes, super easy. I have to say, some students. I don't know what happened, but、um, they never. Okay, not ever. They seldom go to classes, so the attendance is terrible.、Uh, right now, most of the professors they、uh, they take ten,、uh, attendances, and then the, the attendance is kind of、um, uh, safe, like thirty、um, percent of your score, and then you just miss that. And then you just lose 30, and then you, you, <laughs> you just do terrible job of your midterm and your final, and then yes, the professor will definitely flunk you. No, no choice. Don't make it happen, okay?、Uh, for undergraduates, it's not so difficult to maintain 60, but. You know, if you want to have the scholarship, that's why I say Taiwan scholarship students are,、um, you know, are not lucky, but、um, they are. They have、um, better opportunities than the the、uh, the rest of the students because you know, of course, they they had、uh, competed with a lot of、uh, students first before they came here, and then they got they re, they got、uh, award、uh, with the scholarship. And then、uh, they can st still. They need to maintain their their grades so they can keep their、uh, scholarship. But the thing is, they don't need to worry for、uh, reapplication. Not like the other students. For the first year,、uh, your scholarship is secure. But from the third semester, undergraduates, you need to be ranked as the top 40. It's still a little bit challenging.、Mm. Okay, so don't make it happen, huh? <laughs> okay, and remember,、uh, no matter、uh, how difficult your your courses are, and、um, the、uh, oh, I have heard this、um, student said that、um, I don't. I even I took an English taught course. I didn't understand what the professor was saying. The whole semester, <laughs> and I was speechless. I say, "How come you didn't communicate with this professor? You didn't understand. So probably you can, you know, switch to another course, right? Why did you have to stay there? <laughs> If I don't understand the professor and I talk to him, and still nothing changed." I will just go. Bye, bye, professor. I need to go see another one. <laughs> Why stay there? Why kill yourself? Don't do that, okay? You have other choices, okay? NCKU is a big university. We have uh, uh, last time, as I know, we have over eight thousand courses offered. So you have other choices. We have so many departments.、Uh, they have、um, you know the courses in common, like.、Um, These, okay, calculus, engineering, mathematics, da 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 da. These things, 
not just not just uh, chemical engineering offer. Probably in the DAA, probably in the, the chemical engineering, they have same thing. So why stay in your uh, department and then listen to a professor who make you so puzzled for the whole semester? Just go, just leave, be brave. It doesn't, it will not affect you, okay? You, but if you don't go, you stay, mm, it's your choice, okay? Like I said, sometimes you have difficulties understand um, the professor's explanation or, or what, but you have the handouts, still you try very hard to figure out, it by, uh, figure out what's going on by yourself, but you can have some outside help. This is the outside help, okay? So we have this uh, Center for Teaching and Learning Development under the, uh, uh, the, 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 of the Office of uh, Academic Affairs, okay? They have this, so you can get help here, okay? Just book a service and then you can uh, have a private tutor, okay? Huh. Hmm, okay. One moment. I talk too much. <sighs> Again. Oh, okay. This fancy bicycle is not a gift. This fancy bicycle is telling you that NCKU is a huge university. We have several campuses scattering around this area, and then sometimes, like I said, that um, you take um, courses from different departments, and then it's so difficult for you to travel from one department to another. So the bicycles are uh, your third best friend. I am the first, remember? I'm, the, I'm your first best friend, okay? And then the bicycles, uh, don't steal bicycles, okay? We have a... <laughs> I'm not joking, come on. We have a lot of surveillance cameras and then sometimes people think, oh, it's convenient. Oh, this bike is not locked, so <laughs> And then you die. I have many times helped the, uh, the police officers. Please check if this is your international students. I really want to say no, but apparently I have good memory. Oh. Uh, yes, <laughs> our student, what happened? Oh, he stole a bike. <sighs> you really get caught, okay? Don't think you're lucky. So a bike is not so expensive. If you want to get a super fancy bike, it's your choice. But <sighs> get a regular bike and then you, ha you, can, you can hop on it and then travel it among the campuses. It's quite convenient. But Sometimes you say, I don't want to sweat. I just want to hop on my scooter and be pretty and go to my class. Fine, you can do it, but remember to get a driver's license before you ride a scooter or drive a car. Okay? Yes. According to, I know, male. <laughs> Probably <or. laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, but uh, there are uh, some uh, resources that you can get from the, um, what's that called? The, the Bureau of um, Vehicle and uh, Transportation thing. So anyway, if you need the information, send us a, a message and then I will try to uh, send you the link, okay? So anyway, super important. If you uh, fell from the bike and then you get hurt, who do you call first? You. No, I can't leave my office, right? You call this, okay? Uh, there are a lot of... Um, you, you can see like a, a telephone booth in uh, NCKU, but you, you cannot call, make international calls. You can just, uh, you know, uh, call 55555, okay? Uh, it, this is, goes directly to the, say, uh, the safety military training division. This division is uh, 
uh, helping all the student security. Okay, so the the sad story uh, I I was going to tell you, which hmm, I think I don't have time. Let me see. Okay, let me finish this and then I'll go back to the story. It's very important. Okay, you need to you need to you need to hear it. Okay, professors con uh, counseling. Okay, I know a lot of students you have um, uh, encounter um, problems, academ uh, academic problems, or um, personal problems, or even your relationship problems. A lot of things can you know affect you. I understand. I totally understand. I was young before. Okay. So we have someone professional who's, uh, whose name is uh, Professor Kong. Uh, he's, he's one of uh, NCKU's uh, retired professors. He, why we have uh, Professor Kong to uh, be the counselor for the international students? Because he speaks good English, of course. That's very important. He obtained his uh, degree in Oxford University. And then he, the thing is, he was uh, the former director of, for International Students Division. That's why. He has a lot of experience related to international students. He knows what might happen to you, what might you have encountered. So it's the best person for you to talk to. And then in order to talk to Professor Kong, he's very friendly, okay? You can just scan this QR code and make a, a, an appointment, okay? It's 30 minutes each time. You can do it multiple times, no problem, okay? For other information, related information, okay? Uh, we have um, Facebook, okay? And then Students Assistance Division. This is under the Students Affairs Office, okay? And uh, they have uh, uh, other resources, uh, not just for the international students, but for all the students in NCKU. And then this is our uh, OIA main page. Okay, we have uh, if we have um, new information, we will post it here. Okay, so do pay, uh, you know, from, check these uh, websites from time to time. It helps. Okay, and then I I will use uh, three minutes to tell you about a story. It's happened this year. Four students, uh, two couples, uh, two from Haiti, two from Indonesia. They went to Green Island this. Uh, February uh, to have them. You know, it's Chinese New Year's holiday. So they went there to enjoy their holiday. Good, which is good. I totally agree. You know, besides study hard, you need to have a life, okay? Not like us, we don't have a life. You are young, you, su you should have a life, okay? And then they went to Green Island and then they were, uh, after uh, their, uh, they, after their meal, meal, they were uh, walking in a parking lot. Someone was driving a car, just hit them from behind. Two boys were standing outside and two girls were behind them. And then the two girls just fell and then you know, have, have, uh, didn't get hurt really. But the two boys, one uh, fell uh, in the back of his head. He, he was non-conscious for almost one week, okay? He's a PhD student, third year student. He finished all his uh, uh, credits and then he has already two papers uh, published. He's very potential to be a bright star. And then see if he doesn't wake up. What a loss, right? The other boy, the, the, the boy from Haiti, totally tragic. The car hit him and then dragged him like, I don't know how many meters. Anyway, his two legs broken in pieces. What I'm going to tell you here, very important. If you don't have NHI, you happen to have this kind of accident, you die. Because just one trip uh, the, the ambulance from taking them from uh, the other side, Green Island, to back to Tainan. It's 30,000 NT. No one can afford it. If you don't have NHI, 
Who can afford it? No one, right? So NHI is so important. So no matter what, try to be eligible and apply for your NHI as soon as you can, okay? It's my personal advice. And then the second thing is, if you want to go travel, you know, I, uh, we, have, we do have some short vacations, and, you know, like long weekends, holidays, three days, four days. You want to go uh, get out of the city? Good. I, uh, like I said, have a life, okay? Study hard and then play hard. But do remember, if you want to uh, go out, uh, get out of the city, get an insurance. A travel insurance is very, very cheap. Like one day, the, according to my, my knowledge, 2 million NT uh, uh, coverage, the, 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 the insurance, you just pay like a 70 NT dollar per day. Super, it's just one lunchbox, right? But you get the protection, 2 million, if something happened. Of course, uh, you need to, you get 2 million. Die. If you die, you get two million. <laughs> but if you, you know, if you just get hurt, like uh, like I said, that you still get a lot of um, money, yeah. And then with the, the coverage of uh, NHI, you seriously don't need to pay anything, and then you have money. So it's very important. Protect yourself, okay? Let's protect all, okay? So. I guess this is my presentation today. Sorry about blah, blah, blah. OK, so if you have any question, please raise your hand. No? May you Lucky me. <laughs> All right. Really? May you OK. Anyone want to go to the bathroom? You may you so you can stare at each other. <laughs> what do you want to do? I don't know. Yeah, because I finished my presentation here. I guess. Ah, do. Okay. Oh, you can scan the QR code and see. You know anything you are interested in, you like. Thank you. Which one? How? May one tea. <laughs> I got I got a comment from YouTube. People said that I'm humorous. <laughs> I guess it's a compliment, right? Thank you. Thank you for sharing all the important information and wonderful story today. Let, let us give a big round of applause. Now we will have a 15 minute break time. During the short break, you may go to the restaurant. And the restaurant is located inside this building. You may go straight and turn left.
As we are about to begin, we would like to remind you to put your mobile device into silence and vibrate mode. And drinking and eating are strictly prohibited inside the avenues. Okay. Please be quick, okay? Welcome back all. Now let me introduce the distinguished guests from the Labor Affairs Bureau of Tainan City Government onto the stage. Please give a round of applause. Everyone, good afternoon. My name is Anna Tai. I, pre I represent to the Tainan Government Department of Labor Affairs. Uh, we are required to verify all foreign for their employment country. So, your purpose for the enter the Taiwan is a students. So what's the permissible? I, I want to you know about the working and then study. Because you as a students at the university can work up to 20 hours a week. So I applied that you found the rule.
Because if you want to get a driver, you need to get a, your work permit. Before you acquire the worker permit, you cannot start work. We will, we will give you the, this worker permit. And then this worker permit is here. We will, when you get this worker permit, here is a star, when star and then expire. And then this ARC car, the purpose, they will show what the purpose you enter the Taiwan. So either one, here is expire time, and then here, either one, if expire, both expire. You cannot get any job. Yeah, I show you this one, important. Example case situation, illegal work study for foreign students without a work permit. Disputes, you need to know about it. Uh, if you wish to work, be sure you follow the rule. The list of the rules you will place at the university and then your degree is in no way worth the small, small benefit of a huge extra working hours. If you get a job illegal, you will get a penance from the thirty dollars to one hundred fifty dollars, and then if. A discover illegal working, you will be deported. So need to be careful. So before you acquire the work, please get your worker permit. Don't be for obey the rule. Then you can finish school and uh, made your money. Thank you. If you have any question later, we can face to face of one by one. Thank you. Thank you for sharing all the information today. Please give a round of applause. Now, we would like to invite another distinguished guest from the National Immigration Agents onto the stage. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm immigration officer. My name is Eric Chen. And today I, on behalf of immigration, to welcome everyone to Taiwan. I know many students still online, uh, still just come to Taiwan, still live in the hotel. No problem. I hope you can listen carefully because some regulations, if you violate, uh, you will have some troubles. So today, this why. Why am I today uh, here to tell you some rules important? Uh, first, this is visa. I believe that everyone know what it is because you've been in Taiwan and you must have applied for the one visa, then you can come to Taiwan. But you need to uh, remember or t to know something because sometimes maybe your friends will come from abroad to to see you. Uh, up, uh, you need to uh, to tell your friends, this is very important 
uh, the duration of stay. Everyone come to Taiwan, uh, how, how long can they stay in Taiwan uh, according to these days? Uh, for uh, uh, this is 60 days no extension means, means you cannot extend your visa. You can just stay in Taiwan uh, 60 days. If no shores, no extension, if the words have no extension, that means your friends, your family can come to Taiwan, can extend two times each time, 60 days. And uh, they can stay in Taiwan for half a year. Yeah. And this is ARC, we call it Alien Resident Certificate. Uh, here are s some points here. The first is ID number. Uh, each one just have one ID number because you, all of you are students. Maybe you will not have the Taiwan ID. Uh, so if you in Taiwan, you want to book anything, buying ticket and use something, you need to fill in the ID number. That means this ID number, okay? And second, these two points is, uh, is very important because it's about penalty. The first is expiration. Everyone in Taiwan, the, every student in Taiwan, uh, the first, you will just have the one year uh, ARC uh, date. It means that maybe in next year, the same time, you need to extend your ARC. Uh, because some students will, uh, will forget it is, and they will face some trouble. And second, the address. Address is also important because if you change your address, you need to uh, online application system to change the, your address. Because the, in the first year, maybe you live in the school, and then the next year you move out, you rent a house, you need to upload the address proof, then uh, apply for the address change, okay? Uh, most most students will face uh, some problems. The first is how to go abroad. Every foreign student, if you get this ARC card, it means that's your permit to go abroad, then come back. Uh, you don't need you don't need to apply for anything uh, on system, and you don't need to go to immigration to apply for anything. You just need to hold your passport and uh, this ARC card. Leave Taiwan, then come back. But some students will have some problems, questions. Mostly uh, when they are in the second year, the three years, mostly uh, when you end the first semester or the second semester, uh, uh, maybe they should be on June or July, right? Next year, uh, when you finish the first semester on June or July, you will have schedule to leave Taiwan then come back to your country. And you will have some questions. How, when should I apply for my ARC extension? Uh, I need to tell you, don't worry about this. If, because you haven't Enter, you ha haven't paid the tuition to the next, um, maybe the school will open uh, on September, right? Because you, but you need to leave Taiwan on June or July, and uh, you plan to come back on August, right? So how can you do? You still can apply for the extension first online. Then you need to upload your uh, flight ticket, booking ticket, any proof, or the statement, the terrorist that because of some reason you need to go back to your country recently or uh, uh, during the summer, and uh, 
you need to, uh, you, you hope to pick up your ARC or renew your ARC first. So don't worry about this question. But if you, but you, if you really forget it, don't worry about it because maybe you have in your, you, you forget to extend first, then you leave Taiwan, go back to your country. Uh, in, uh, when you are abroad, you still can use this system to uh, renew your ARC. But the point is you need your friends to come to immigration to pick up your new ARC, then send back to your country. Okay. And I believe the, stu the school have sent you the instruction, but now here I still show the PPT and you can scan this QR code. You can follow the inst instruction step by step. You can know how to apply for your online, uh, online system. If you need it, don't worry about it. I will list, leave this PPT here. Uh, you can ask the school to send to you, okay? And this uh, is a PDF download. You can see the English version. Uh, that, that will teach you how to step by step, and there are some questions you will meet. Uh, you will know how to solve it. And uh, there are phone numbers here that will engineer to answer your question. Okay. Here are some support, uh, important notice. The first, online application, please choose the correct service center to pick up your ARC. Many students make the mistake here because in Taiwan, this is the English version. And uh, in, in Taiwan, you, uh, on the system, when you choose, you will find Taichung. Taichung. Did you know Taichung? Taichung is in Taiwan. This is very recent. This is the first verb is T-A-I, T-A-I. And you will choose the Taichung first service center. And the card will send to Taichung. And you will meet some troubles. So remember to choose the Tainan first service center. <laughs> it's very important. Many students make this mis mistake, okay? And all corrections, passport, change passport number, your address, name can be applied online. So don't worry about, if you don't know how to use this system, just uh, follow the instructions. Make, uh, miss some problems. Uh, you can uh, phone the number uh, and ask the engineer. Uh, because I know that there are some students come from, uh, many students come from Indonesia and uh, Vietnam. Uh, I have seen the most students, um, not here, but no problem, I believe that most uh, Vietnam students and Indonesia students still online. So I, today, I bring the trans translator here. So about some point, uh, very important, I will hope, uh, I will ask my partner to use the Indonesia and uh, Vietnam word to translate it for most students. So, yeah. Jadi waktu apply ya, ingat uh, Tainan, bukan Taichung ya, soalnya depannya sama, Tai, t -A -I, ya. Jadi perhatikan supaya nggak salah alamat. Kalau sampai salah alamat nanti agak repot, ya. Apply ini bisa melalui online, ya, nggak perlu sampai ke kantor, ya, bisa melalui 
uh, apply online ya tapi yang penting datanya semua lengkap ya jadi onlinenya itu langsung masuk data kalau enggak nanti uh, sudah uh, online tapi masih belum ada data cari-cari lagi nanti udah terhapus ya jadi di, dipersiapkan dulu datanya Các bạn Việt Nam khi mà khi mình online mình nhận xin cái visa cái thẻ cư trú đấy thì mình phải nhớ là khi cái chữ Đài Nam và Đài Trung nó rất là giống nhau cho nên thì khi mình phải nhớ chọn cho đúng Đài Nam đừng có chọn thành Đài Trung và tất cả các hạng mục thì đều nó ở trên trên cái online đấy mình có thể xin làm trên cái thẻ cư trú đều nằm ở trên online đấy. I'm sorry I know most the students know English but this year uh, I know many students from Indonesia and the Vietnam so I spent some time to use the mother language to translate for them okay and this is also important because it's the Taiwan government service number and it's the hotline if you have any problems in Taiwan you can just use your cell phone to call 1990 uh, it's free and uh, this this hotline have seven seven language uh, Chinese English uh, Nihong uh, Vinan now Indonesia uh, uh, still uh, two two other languages if you phone this number uh, don't worry about uh, the so, someone will tell you uh, your, your problem how can you solve your problem or find the correct uh, unit Uh, Jadi ada saluran ya, saluran gratis 19990 ya dalam bahasa Indonesia. Kalau ada masalah apa bisa telepon ini ya 24 jam. Đường dây nóng của tất cả các người nước ngoài ở Đài Loan gọi số 1990 bắt đầu từ ngày 1 tháng 7 là bắt đầu nên có thể gọi được. Okay, next. And it's very important. I know that most of you know this before you come to Taiwan. That I believe the student, the school haven't have told you not bring any meat into Taiwan. Because, but now I see just few students here. It means that many students still abroad. So I hope that all the students. Uh, uh, when you plan to come to Taiwan, please follow the rules because uh, if you violate, you will give, uh, uh, you will be fined. Uh, the first point is don't import meat illegally from abroad, and the second point is inform your friends and family not to deliver meat products to you from abroad. That's very important. Ya, sekarang lagi virus Afrika ya, babi Afrika virus lagi mewabah. Jadi kita harus hati-hati, nggak -hati, e, boleh membawa makanan yang mengandung daging, ya mentah ataupun yang sudah kering, ya. Dan ini sangat e, penting, mohon diperhatikan, ya. Tengah kau bantu Vietnam cuy nyo dịch tả lợn cho video. Uh dịch tả lợn châu Phi đối với Đài Loan rất là quan trọng cho nên khi mọi người nhập cảnh vào Đài Loan nên nhớ là không được mang tất cả các loại thịt của từ nước ngoài vào Việt Nam à, vào Đài Loan ờ, kể cả mình gửi qua đường bưu điện hoặc là mua bán các loại thịt từ nước ngoài mang vào hoặc là mình sang đây mình muốn mang đi sang đây nhưng mà mình đã mang không chú ý không mang rồi nhưng mà không may người nhà mình lại cho vào hành lý của mình cho nên phải nhớ là không được mang các loại thịt vào trong đây Thank you. And next is the penalty. The most you will be fined up to one million dollars. This is very terrible. Yeah. And next, we want to. I, I want to remind everyone uh, the human trafficking report highlight uh, here. Uh, don't think you will not meet this traffic uh, human trafficking, because I believe in. Um, in the world, in every country, there are good guys and bad guys. Uh, you are just in Taiwan. Uh, maybe you you ever heard the the Taiwan's best scenery is the people, but someone will cheat you. 
Okay, so uh, I don't. I I just want to tell everyone if you miss something, you um, you you don't think that's th that's good. Maybe you can phone the immigration first or phone this number because in Taiwan the human trafficking uh, is very. Uh, if you violate this, is very important. And uh, recently, we see many uh, news on TV in Taiwan. That many Taiwan news go abroad has been fooled. But you, being in Taiwan, uh, you need to watch all the many things because someone will try to fool you. The Ini mengenai penipuan ya di Taiwan banyak sekali penipuan ya melalui telepon ataupun langsung ya jadi harus hati-hati kalau misalnya ketemu hal seperti ini ya masih ragu jangan langsung setuju dulu langsung bisa tanya ke sekolah atau ke yang bersangkutan terus tadi ada nomor yang bisa dihubungi ya jangan asal percaya soalnya banyak penipuan ya. Ờ, mọi người nên khi mình đến Đài Loan mình sống và học và làm việc đấy thì là mình nên nhớ chú ý là chú ý vấn đề bị nhỡ bị người ta lừa đấy thì nên không không tìm, tìm được ở đâu trước nhất mình phải chú ý và mời nhờ đến nhà trường còn nếu không được thì có gọi đến cho bên sở di dân. Okay and the phone number is 165 if you Find some, find something strange, and find someone try to fool you. You can call this number to check it. It is responded by the police officer. And finally, I think about some problems online system you will meet. Uh, maybe most students. Uh, I want to ask: Have anyone uh, get the ARC now? Or uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, I want to remind you, after you finish the online system uh, application, you need to pay first. But after you pay, you will receive an uh, email, email later to tell you you finished the pay. And uh, after three days, you can pick up your ARC. After you receive the letter to tell you that your ARC is finished, it haven't finished yet. Then you need to see the latest like shorts. You need to wait and tear uh, still another three working days. So don't ju after you received the email to inform you to your ARC is finished. You need to wait another three working days. Then you can pick up your ARC. Yeah, because most students just uh, receive later and very happy and go to immigration and they cannot get it, their ARC. Okay, so I, I think I've finished. Oh, this is our address. Sorry, there's no English version, but the Tainan First Service Center, the address here, the phone number. And in Tainan, we have two service center, first and second. And in Chenda, more students uh, are responded by the first service center. I, on behalf of first service center, okay. Okay, I finished my orientation. So, if you, is anyone have any questions in Taiwan now, in Dear now? Any students have questions online? If mm, Oh, 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 I forget to tell everyone today, I prepared three gifts for everyone. So if you are not, you are not asleep, <laughs> uh, you will know what I ask. Is the question is very easy. The first, qu the first question is, in Taiwan government, we have a service number to over, offer seven languages. It's four numbers. Okay, okay, please. 
I, I will say one, two, three. Okay, please raise your hand. One, two, three. Okay, you are the first. I'm sorry. <laughs> please tell me the number. One nine nine zero. No problem. You are correct. The gift. And uh, the uh, the second question, the, the African uh, Africans when uh, fever is very, uh, you need to watch this. If you bring uh, meat here, uh, illegal, more uh, you will be, you, you will receive a fine up to how much? N T dollars. Okay, please. <laughs> oh, I can't. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, you are the first. <laughs> One million dollars. Okay. And finally, I want to, because today I invited uh, uh, Labor Affairs in Tainan City Government, uh, because the illegal working is very important. The last question is very easy. Uh, if you want to get any job in Taiwan, do you need to apply for what? Oh, okay, okay. The question is not so easy. And you still need to tell me how long can you work in Taiwan each week? Oh, oh, oh everybody knows. That's very good. Okay, okay, please. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, maybe you are the first one. <laughs> 20 hours. Yeah, 20 hours. And you need to apply for what first? Work permit. Work permit. Very good. <laughs> because some students think they get the ARC means they can work directly. No, the answer is no. They are just for marriage people. Because some foreigners marriage Taiwanese, they can after they get the ARC, they can go to work directly. But all of you still need to apply for the work permit first. Okay, and the gift is finished. I still finished my orientation. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining with us and sharing all the useful information. Please give another big round of applause. Now, I would like to introduce the Mr. Chen Kuenyi from the Counseling and Awareness Service Division onto the stage. So if you would like to ask any question about the uh, working permit or uh, any question related with the labor affair, you can ask now.
About this question, a lot of students, when they apply for the ARC, uh, they just put down the address of number one uh, university role. So that's NCKU's address, okay? So apparently, I just asked uh, the immigration uh, uh, officer, can you do it? Uh, yes, you can do it. So you don't need to worry, you can. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you need to you need to uh, renew your ARC anyway because it's only valid for just one year. Oh, so I can just change it after a year to replace like a one second. You need you need to update. 反正如果他們先寫的更大,然後他們之後有找了正式的房子之後,他們再換一下,要不要再付錢?還是先把它丟,不是。Okay, so uh, personally, I suggest you to apply your ARC with NCKU's address first. Then you can change your ARC again without paying extra money, which is good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm an overseas student uh, too in the past, so I know there's a fine if you don't update your latest address within the 15 days, like you moved in at July 1st, and you need to update your ARC address before 15th of July. Yeah, I do that. Uh, I just follow the rules because I don't want to be fine. I don't have money. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, do what the regulations say. That's what. That's my mm, suggestion because uh, you don't get to meet very nice officers. Some officers are very strict and they just follow the rules. They don't give you any chances. So if we are not lucky enough and then we've, mm. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, it's, it's different. You need to go to the, the Bureau of um, uh, Vehicle and Transportation. Yeah, it's different. It's not different. Oh, no, I mean, uh, it's different. The immigration office uh, is in charge of um, the, 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 the ARC. Yeah, not a driver's license. You need to go to another. You need to go to the Bureau by yourself, in person. It's not far from here anyway. Just about 15 minutes uh, bicycle ride. Mm. Yes, I have a question. Um, I want to make sure that if I apply for ARC card today, so I have to wait for one week to receive, right? Mm. 
So how many days did I and I have to wait for? Because many according to the rules, maybe we need to give you ARC after one week. But mm -hmm. you know, many students come here at the same time, mm -hmm. and we have many cases to to see. To, so uh, you still need to wait until you re receive the email info. Yeah, to tell you that your errors, uh, the, you will get Maybe? two emails. The first email is tell you that you have passed the uh, uh, application. You need to pay money first. And after you finish this procedure, you still need to wait another email. And that will tell you that your ARC is finished. Then you still need to, to, to wait another three working days. Then so you can get ARC. So you can uh, approximate how many days that uh, we can, we, we have to wait for. You, wait, you wait still, for? the one to two weeks. One, or yeah. one to two weeks. But okay. You need to, uh, to, to check your email sometimes because if you fo we found that you lost something, we will, my colleague will on the system to ask you to upload the, uh, another document. If you don't upload, we will not uh, keep the, continue the procedure, okay? Yes. Yeah. So, okay, so... Um Mostly, two weeks. Mostly two weeks. <laughs> Suddenly, oh. one week. <laughs> really? Okay. 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 So if we cannot receive the second email, so what? Let me. Let me. Maybe you have you made some problems about your document, but uh -huh. don't worry. If we need to to upload another document, uh -huh. we will use the email the system to tell you first. Okay. So if not, we can email to you. Just wait. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> I'm okay, sorry. We have to keep waiting. Okay. okay. I have a question. It says that um, uh, within 15 days, uh, all the international uh, students, income, new students, have to obtain their ARC. Is it correct? 15天内一定要办好ARC,是真的吗? Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. uh, after the COVID-19 finish, maybe uh, most the students, but I still, we still hope that you can apply for it in 15 days because I think most, be, most of you will not to see the news every day to see when the COVID-19 is finished. Mm -hmm. But now the regulations is you can apply for it in 45 days. Okay. Mm, okay. Didn't you guys thought about that? The, the 15 days, and how come everybody is so relaxed here? <laughs> everybody has already sent out the application online? I, I don't think so. Because I, 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 that's why I asked the question is because uh, we have the, the, the official line account, and a lot of students ask this question. So I assume that uh, a lot of students have these questions in mind, but you just don't want to ask. You are still waiting. Maybe someone will ask. So I'm the one. I represent, I represent you. <laughs> 大姐姐, you know? <laughs> Na mama, 大姐姐, remember? <laughs> okay, let's uh, give a big hand um, to the officers. Uh, yeah, thank you for coming today. Thank you very much. Now we have a show break and during the show, now we have a 10 minute show break and during the show break you may go to the restaurant.
we have a property from the new center and if you would like to record a short video for a new publishing. So I would like to invite you all together today and see if you sign for new publishing. Is that okay? Can we do that? Okay. N C K U S. Don't mind cut all one two three. We we will all together say N C K U S. Can we do that? It's division onto the stage. Um, thank you and good afternoon, everyone. Hi, good afternoon. Okay, um, I know, I mean, the orientation today is coming to an end. I'm the third or second to the last speaker. And for me, I'm, I'm Chen. I go by my last name, Chen. I, uh, I'll, be, I'll be kind of introducing what kind of counseling services we have here on campus at NCKU. Um, I'll make it very short, and I'll try to make it concise as possible as I can. I mean, I, because I only have like uh, 20 minutes, which is relatively short for, for most of, uh, most of uh, like, this that I have ever given in the past. So um, before I get started, I, because I know there's um, most of, um, I was told, I was told that most of, most of international students are still either in quarantine or still back in, in your home country. So because I was just, I was just uh, chatting with her because I remember um, before COVID, I mean, most of the time, the, the, the auditorium was packed with more than almost 200, peop, 200 students each semester, but it's been like this for the past, for the past few semesters, which becomes a norm for, for, for most of us. And for me, I'm, I'm a psychologist, for me, what has, what has changed in terms of what I do is very different from, from from the past as well. For example, uh, for the, since COVID uh, outbreak, um, uh, early in 2020, I have, been, I have been receiving more students who came to me because, because they, they lost their family, they lost their friends back in, in the countries 
However, because of the, the policy, they, they, there's no way they could go back. And it became, I mean, it's not like, an, a, it's not like a one single uh, case that they had to, they had to, I mean, they had to observe the whole funeral online, which is pretty heartbreaking. So, so what, what has, what COVID-19 has changed us uh, is tremendous in every aspect, especially for, for international students like you guys who flew all the way, maybe half of the, uh, the world and trying to, trying to get your diploma and trying to, trying to, I mean, I always, I like this word, survive, trying to survive in Taiwan. I think that's, for me, it sounds very courageous because um, I, believe, I believe that most of you, uh, maybe especially if you are in, if, especially if you are in graduate uh, school, probably you don't need to, you don't need to have like basic Chinese because you, maybe you're told that in a lab or in, in most of your uh, courses will be taught in English, which are true. However, when you, when you, once you step out of the campus, most likely you will have to use Chinese, of course. So, I mean, it's pretty courageous of you guys, I mean, choosing Taiwan or choosing NCKU as your, I mean, the next chapter of your life. And what I do, I'm a psychologist. I would I like to ask you a few questions if you I mean, if you have any ideas, I would like to hear from you because it's great because we have like people from different countries in this, in this, in this conference room. And I like to hear about, have you ever heard of psychologist, counselor, or maybe a psychiatrist in your country, um, where you come from? If you do, I'd like to hear from you and give you, maybe you can share with us and Whatever you say, you get a coaster for your coffee mug or for your, or you want to drink, you want to put your, like, what's that, beer, glass, whatever it is, you get a, I mean, this is pretty cool. I mean, I, I like it. So whoever wants to share your ideas of what a psychologist or what a uh, counseling services is, please feel free to raise your hand and share your thoughts with us. Anyone? Sure. Uh, oh, hold on. I'll, I'll. Oh, I'm already getting rewarded. I didn't even say. Oh, <laughs> I see. Thank you. This is for you. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, uh, in my experience, it's someone you go to if you're having, for example, problems in your personal life. Uh, let's say you're depressed or other, you have other, um, other mental issues, then you go to a counselor or a psychologist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I, uh, I, I also know like from my, my uh, previous university, there was a counselor there as well. Um, I am quite curious what it's like here because I know that in that case, the most they would do is listen to your issues and they would, then they would just tell you, you need to go to like a other professional psychologists. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know how it works here, but at least uh, at my previous university, the scope of counseling from the university council was very limited. Okay, thank you. That's pretty, that's pretty comprehensive, so to speak. Thank you. And where are you from? Uh, the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you. Anyone else? I mean, he did share with us and he, he basically covered with a lot of important issues and what it looks like. And of course that, that give that these to then maybe the next question, what kind of services here you can expect here at NCKU? Okay, so anyone? We have two more coasters to give away. Anyone? Sure. Here we go. Hey, here's the mic. Well, um, for me, I can talk about a previous experience that I had. Uh, it was here in Taiwan too. Uh, back in the dorm where I was living, we had like a suicide. A girl jumped from a balcony. So back then, it, for me, it was very shocking to be 
to see for the first time a person, a body laying down there uh, with her life and, you know, thinking, w w why would she do that? So uh, back then the university contacted us with uh, um, some counseling services too. Here in Taiwan, yeah, yeah. So for me, it was the first time going to like a psychologist or like a counseling service. And it was very helping too, you know, uh, to hear like what others were thinking too, to know that I was not alone uh, feeling that way. So for me, it was just people that could listen to you, people um, that you can trust and open up and talk about your feelings. I think, well, for, for me, it really helped. Thank you. Thank you. And where are you from? I'm from Paraguay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Wow, it's, you know, it's pretty cool because the, for the first two volunteers are male. Have you noticed? Because this is really different from, uh, from my past experience. And most of the time, it would be female. It would be female who are more willing to, to, to share, okay? But it's, it's very, very, cool. very cool. Thank you. Thank, thank you to both of you. We have one last coaster to give away. Anyone? Sure. Um, as long as I understand what is the uh, psychologist, uh, psychology is the one who can uh, listen, who can provide the suggestion and for the one who has mentally disorder. So if we have some kind of the mental disorder and uh, twist in our mind, so we can discuss, we can show our feeling, our emotion, our situation to the psychologist. So the psychologist can also provide in the suggestion guidelines towards the mental health, mental toughness and resilience to us. So this is what I understand. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Where are you from? Okay. 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 Um, cool. All three of us, all three of the volunteers are male. Okay. This is. Uh, a, a, a brand new experience for me, okay? It's cool, totally cool. Um, you mentioned something very important, like, like uh, we psychologists, we listen, we listen, and sometimes we help uh, people who come to us explore how they feel, why do they think what they are thinking. And in terms of the behaviors, especially for, for students, for students, most of most of students who would come to come to us complaining about insomnia, like difficulties sleeping, or or poor sleep qualities, or poor concentration, or or they may experience some mood swings. I mean, mood swing is like the very one of the very typical symptoms that uh, people would experience when they are maybe when they are going through some, some, some mental issues, their mood would just go, would just escalate within a very short period of time and drop like a free fall. If you've ever been to a theme park, the free fall is like, phew, it drops with no specific reasons. So what we do is we try to uh, we try to help you, we try to be there with you, and we try to explore what options, what options we can do. And especially here, and one thing is very important is here in, tai, here, here in, tai, in Taiwan or here at NCKU, the counseling services are free of charge. And um, it's 100% confidential, which means uh, what you share with me stays in the room. I, by law, cannot reveal anything to other people, including your, 
your, your advisors or your, your friends, your, even your mom, your dad, who, who may call us. We, by law, we, have, we, have, we, we don't reveal anything. Okay, it's 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 a, it's beyond a secret. It's something that uh, we always say this is a privilege. I mean, you come to us uh, trying to tell us what you want to talk about. So this is this is what basically the the, the foundation of what 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 counseling uh, services are. And something that you also mentioned about, like some some symptoms, some symptoms. I mean, um, there's plenty of symptoms that we could cover and I I have I have them in in the slides and the I'm not gonna go over again because I don't wanna I don't wanna bore you to death. So maybe if you're interested you can you can go look at it and go through go through the the the, the, the Texas and so but there's one thing I really wanna talk about which is how do you reach us? Because here on, here on campus, here on campus, there, now there's more than 15, 15 psychologists here uh, to, to help students. But however, um, there's, including me, there's only two, there's only two um, psychologists who provide English counselings. So, uh, of course, if you like to talk to, to I mean, you have every right to choose who you, whom you want to talk to. You have every right. If you feel like, oh, I don't want it, I don't really feel comfortable or whatever reason it is, I don't feel I want to change a psychologist, it's all right. It's all right, no hard feelings, okay? <laughs> so it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple, it just, uh, it's um, most likely you just Google like NCKU counseling or NCKU mental health, most likely you'll just it would just pop up on the first on the on the, on the first page of the Google search. So it's it's pretty easy and so and so it's it's um, for for my experience every semester every semester I I um, I work with over forty international students every semester and of course not every not every every person comes to me in a bad shape no that's that, that's not what i meant like you said maybe they may come to me to to talk about their stress especially when like graduate students they have to make like progress report maybe every week and they feel stressed out or maybe like some severe scenario like like you mentioned you witness someone who committed suicide and that which is very heavy so you were reached by by the by a psychologist on your on your on, on your on your school okay so it can be it can be it's like a spectrum sometimes it could be very very um heavy sometimes it can be some daily routine that but however it stresses you out so if you do feel like talking to someone in a confidential in a confidential fashion of course uh talking to a psychologist would be uh, would be an option would be an, an option for you okay i think i'm running out of time so i i i'll just leave the, the text for you and if you do need to um, uh, make an appointment. Feel free to, to to do that. Okay, and thank you for for giving me this opportunity to, for uh, talking to you, and even with uh, with uh, the students online. I I mean I hope to see you guys. I mean I don't really mean that I want to see you soon, but I mean welcome to Taiwan. That's what I meant. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for delivering all the information again. Please uh, give a round of applause. As you did, it's okay. Now, I would like to invite Mrs. Li Jiazhen from our registered division onto the stage. So, so.
はみんなに。はい Uh, hello, I'm Kathy from uh, Registrar Division. Uh, today I, I want to tell you the general information about academic affairs. First, about academic registration notice. You can find the information here. There's uh, information for the new student and the old student. Oh, sorry, I'm. Sorry, I cannot find the English version. Let's skip it. About the course selection. There's a course enrollment system. You can see here, there's a there's an announcement for course enrollment. You can see here, we got three stages of a uh, course enrollment. You can see the information here. It's a lot of information, so you can check later after the meeting. Sorry. Here's the information about course enrollment. We have stage, uh, three stage for course enrollment. So you can check the list after the the. Uh, uh, for this, uh, uh, we have put it inside your student handbook, so you can check there. It's the same link uh, registrar division provide to us, so you can check your student handbook. And for the course withdrawal, you can withdraw your course uh, before the week of final semester exam. For the, this semester is the 3rd December. You can check on the academic calendar of the school. Here's the academic calendar. There's a lot of date. You can check the course enrollment, the date for course enrollment, and the course withdrawal here. And for the Passing grade for undergraduate is 60, and the graduate student is 70. And for withdrawal, if you have two-thirds of your course failed in one semester, and then the, the other semester you failed uh, over a half of your, of your course credit, then you will dismiss from the NCKU. And for the duration of your academic study, for undergraduate is four to six years. 
and there are some exception for School of Medicine and Pharmacy and Den Dentistry is six years, and for Department of Architecture Design Division is five years. For master degree, uh, for master program is one to four years, and PhD is two to seven. But every department have different duration of these studies, so check with your office, your department office. And for undergraduate student, you can apply for early graduation for one semester or one academic year. And for the detail, you can check also with your department office. And for the department transfer, there's a date you can see over uh, in the academic calendar. And for the postgraduate, you can apply for department transfer only for once. So after you transfer to the other department, you cannot go back to your original one, and you cannot apply again. And there's a course credit waiver system for department transfer and the newcomer student. There's a system you can check on the website of registrar division. And for the credit, on, uh, undergraduate, uh, you need get at least 128 credit for graduation. A master is 24, PhD is 18. But also, this is the minimum required. If you want to know how much credit you need to fulfill, you have checked with your department office. And uh, so if you want to apply for suspension, it is OK. You, can, you have only need to apply it and complete the procedure before the uh, exam, the final exam. And you can apply for two years for semester uh, suspension. And there's an exact date you, when you have to finish the procedure. Also check, with, check the academic calendar. And this is the system for applying for suspension. You have to log in the system, and this is the example of the chart. You have to go to your department office, and the library, the cashier, and the OIA, and the student affairs. And final is the registrar division. If you didn't give this form to us, it means you have not finished this procedure. So make sure you have completed all the suspension procedure and give the paper to us. And this is the academic calendar. You can find on the website of the school here. Every date you have to know it shows here. So check it later. And for your academic record, such as transcript or the enrollment certificate, you can apply over the machine. There's a seven machines in campus. Uh, three is open on office hours, and the other four is open 24 hours. So he, here's the location. And if you cannot come here to apply for the transcript or enrollment certificate, you can apply online. Here's the website of the system. And this is the machine outside uh, the register division. You can pick up the transcript immediately and the certificate of enrollment and class rank here. But only two machines can apply for certificate of enrollment and class rank. One is outside the register division, and one is in the new student in Shenli campus. This is the online system. You have to log in the system and fill your information and what kind of uh, document you want to apply. 
then you can pay by ATM or the credit card. After we got your payment, we will send it to you, mail it to you. So it's very convenient. And here is some useful link for you, like a course enrollment system and application form system, such as uh, here. So check it if you need this link. And here is some rules and regulation. I think most important is the academic uh, regulations. So check the, ac the regulation if you have time. And here is our office time and our email and our website. If you need any information, you can check online or call us during the office hour. And here is all. Oh, thank you. Do you have any question? No? Then thank you and welcome to NCKU. Thank you. Thank you for sharing all the information, Mrs. Ch Now we will be having a 10 minute break time and during the short break you may go to the restaurant.
continues, I would like to announce that during the following session, we are delighted to have students from different student associations. There will be Overseas Chinese Student Association, Malaysian Student Association, and Mainland China Student Association on the next room. So if you would like to join, then you may move to the next room. Is there anyone who would like to join the Student Association, for example, like Malaysian Student Association, Mainland China Student Association, and Overseas China's Student Association? Okay, Beth, I mentioned all the student association are in the next room. So if you would like to join them, you may move to the next room. Is which mean that's room. Oh, so in this room there will be student from ISA International Student Association. Okay, now let me invite the student from ISA International Students Association onto the stage. Uh, thank you. Um, hi guys. Uh, my name is John Tesh, and I am the president of the International Students Association at NCKU. And um, before we begin, I'd just like to say um, welcome to NCKU. I know it's been a long day for all of you, um, so I'll try to keep this short. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So in this um, presentation, I will be talking about my club, ISA, and what we do, and um, our goals and purposes. Uh, and I'll also talk about some of our previous activities um, hosted within school. And I will show you guys the pictures and um, also tell you guys what we are planning in store for this semester and next semester. And um, I'll also talk about if you want to join ISA, how does it benefit you, um, me as in you. And um, I'll also talk about the current execs and the team members of ISA. And then finally, I will talk about how you can join and then also answer some of your questions and the ending remarks. Yeah. So what is ISA? ISA stands for International Students Association. Um, we represent all of the international student body of NCKU and that includes pretty much anyone in, anybody that's from overseas. And um, ISA is in charge of pretty much voicing the concerns of any um, affairs regarding international students. Let's say housing, scholarships, um, maybe even uh, academics, um, just basically pretty much anything related to international students, we are here to help you guys. And um, yeah, we're here to like voice these concerns to the, in to the school administrative body. And um, uh, that's related, that's uh, in the, the ones that are in, in charge of ISA is um, ISAD. So yeah, th that's who we report to. And this club is previously known as UISA, United International Students Alliance. Um, but now UISA is in a separate branch. They are a smaller group of people who specifically um, help international students at NCKU um, address something more serious. Like, for example, in the past, they have helped students um, try to approach and talk to NCKU because Previously, NCKU has decreased international student scholarship by, I think, I, I don't know how much, but they've decreased everybody's scholarship amount. So UISA was in charge of that. But in my club, ISA, we sort of deal with the lighter issues, not that big of a concern. Um, so if you guys want to have fun, but also at the same time solve some smaller issues related to international students, feel free to join my club and some of our goals and purposes. Uh, we really seek to try and enhance relationships between the international student body and also the local Taiwanese population. Because, um, yeah, you guys haven't taken any classes yet, I assume, but once you get into a classroom, you will realize that Taiwanese students don't talk to you guys. And yes, they don't, they are very shy and they Pretty much unless you have any incentive, they are not going to talk to you. So we really do try to at least force some of these international students and Taiwanese students to come out of their comfort zone to try and socialize and form 
on common friendships. And um, yes, that includes promoting cross-cultural interactions and teamworks through um, school-wide events that I will expand upon in later slides. And um, some of our additional goals is to forge multicultural friendships, like I previously said. And also, more importantly, this is my personal goal for um, all of you, is to establish alumni connections with international students who have previously graduated from NCKU and are working in Taiwan currently, because I believe that they can offer all of you um, very good advices on finding jobs and opportunities in Taiwan and also offer mentorships to all of you. And yes, um, if you guys want to use your English skill sets and try to um, earn some money at the same time, there are also internship opportunities we are currently working with, um, with the local Taiwanese high school. And I will expand upon this as well. So before we talk about all of that, uh, I just want to share about like our previous activities. Um, we did a language exchange and Christmas party in last year, in December, um, before COVID um, hit Taiwan. So yeah, um, that was in person, and um, there were drinks and foods offered. So pretty much like any normal club activity, that was that gave everybody a lot of fun. But then unfortunately, COVID kind of happened and just. They wrecked, it wrecked pretty much every club's plan they have for um, last semester. Um, so we decided to host the um, online alumni experience sharing seminar in um, very recently in July of, yeah, so during summer break. Um, some of our future activities, uh, like I said, we hope that um, some of our students who joined ISA can work with us to go on either internships, teaching, or just actually interact with the local high school students at Tainan Industrial High School. Um, Tainan Industrial High School in Chinese uh, is called Tainan Gao Gong. And um, I, I think uh, maybe there's a few classmates from your class that you're enrolled in who might have graduated from Tainan Industrial High School because they are very close nearby. And they are soon to uh, merge with NCKU and become sort of a, a high school affiliate of NCKU. Yeah, and also we hope to, uh, this semester, we hope to host the um, NCKU language exchange program in person. And um, yes, although, yeah, that will require some paperwork, but I'm hoping that me and my exec members can get this done and organized. And by next semester, we hope that um, we will be able to be familiar with all of our club members and be able to organize some sort of a club trip to either within Taiwan or onto the outer islands of Taiwan for maybe one or two days, hopefully. Um, that really still depends on COVID. And also um, end of semester Christmas party, this as well. We hope, to be, we hope that it is in person and we hope everybody can have a lot of fun. And this is the picture from 2021. So as you can see, a lot of international students, overseas students, and Taiwanese student body interacting together. Um, not a lot, unfortunately, but it's still a few. And yeah, this is from the online seminar, um, we use Google Meet. I had a few of my exec members record and take screenshots of this. So yeah, as you can see, um, most of the alumni uh, are international students, for previous international students of NCKU. Um, what I am really hoping for through this event, uh, events like these, is to um, allow you guys to have somebody to reach out to in the, who is working in the industry right now. So, yeah, and some of them are Taiwanese. So, yeah, we, we organized those for Taiwanese students in, within ISA too, because ISA is not restricted to only international students. Taiwanese students can join to um, forge different kind of friendship as well. And so how does ISA benefit you? Um, I know it's long, you guys can read it. I'll just try to say, say this in my own terms. Um, when I joined ISA, I found a certain sense of purpose to keep myself occupied outside of class. Um, I know that college is a little, uh, it's rather tough and um, yeah, 
I, I found something to do outside of class and also things to learn outside of class, such as time management, communication, and event planning. And um, this alone has, I think, boosted my confidence level because um, I used to not be able to do these things pretty well. I think once you join ISA and you actively try to participate in organizing the event, um, you will learn something at least have something to take away and also at the same time be part of something bigger than yourself in which you probably can be proud of. Yes, and also lastly, this is probably the most important thing. No other club is doing this in NCKU. They are not um, keeping any database of alumni who have graduated from NCKU. So pretty much that line is cut for most clubs. But for me and my club, we try to keep it. Um, we try to keep it connected to the people who have graduated and who are former members of ISA. So, um, yeah, uh, if you join my club, I can try to get you guys set up to talk to some of these people. And um, I am pretty sure they have very um, important things to share with you guys about finding jobs and the entire process. So, yeah. And these are the exec and team of ISA. Um, I myself, I am Taiwanese, believe it or not. Um, I started off as a normal member, and then I just kind of worked my way to the top. So, yeah. And so, as you can see from our exact structure, I promise you, no other, no other club in, the, in NCKU can tell you that they have club members and execs from different countries. Okay, pretty much any other club is either like pretty focused, pretty, mostly Taiwanese, or either fully overseas students. They will not tell you that, they cannot tell you that it is a mixture of international student and Taiwanese student working together to try and make NCKU a better place. So this is, yeah, we have uh, members from Europe, from um, the Caribbeans, and um, from Southeast Asia, and uh, yeah, and from also from India as well. So yeah, if you guys really um, want to join, feel free to let me know after that. And actually right now, me and my club, we are searching for business students who are interested in finance and also sort of budget management. Because um, in previous events, some of our club activities have run into problems of managing our budget. And also at the same time, we have problems in, the making, in uh, checking the inventory to, where, to see which expense belongs to which expense. And, um, Yes, it, after the event, it's a very big hassle to try and organize that. So we hope to get all of those set up before the event so that um, everything looks nice and clean. So, yeah. Um, how can you join ISA? Um, I'm not sure if any other guys have tell, told you this, but the official club orientation, um, one where it's entire school, like they just, they have um, stands being hosted, and have every, every club um, have a rent a spot and like tell, talk to you about what kind of club they are and what they do. Um, that official club orientation is on September 21st to 22nd. And um, yeah, 22nd is also my birthday too. So yeah, but that's not the, that's not, that's not the point. Um, yes, but you can also go there and check out my, my club and my stand and uh, or yeah, take notes on every club that is available. Um, do not just try to, I, I hope you guys don't try to like join my club like, and focus on my club only. I actually hope that you guys can go out there and see what is, what is in, it, in store for you. So you guys can meet other people who have um, matching personalities or people who just genuinely care about you as an individual. Because I think that is very important in college is to have a support system around you. Um, I don't know if any other NCKU people have told you this, but in just the past few months, uh, one student from NCKU committed suicide. Um, yes, I, I know that is pretty sad. Um, I, I can tell you this. From reading the news report, um, that NCKU student, I think, wasn't that good at socializing. So he's, he also doesn't have much friends, as I would as assume. And um, I think what happened is, this is just my assumption, he kept everything to himself. 
all of the stress and eventually implode it. So I think that kind of tells you how important college is because uh, how important us, like having friends are, having friends is, because if you have friends who treat you like family members within Taiwan, you're pretty much set. Um, I'm telling you straight up. And uh, yeah, I think it's really, really important about this, and I can't emphasize this enough. A lot of NCKU students, they are shy, and they don't share anything about their personal life or their stress or their emotional burdens and they just keep everything to themselves and leading up to this. And my club, I myself and my club, we really hope that we can form a community where people just support each other mutually um, and have at least a platform for you to reach out to so that you don't feel alone in NCKU. And yes, so if you really want to join, talk to me after this presentation or you can begin like, by following us on social media and scanning the QR codes. And um, yeah, I, if, if you really, really do want to join right now, you can talk to me, but I suggest you guys still wait until the club orientation because I think there's a lot of like, other good clubs still in store. And um, you guys will have to organize your time wisely to see which club you can actually commit to. Because I think most average NCK students can only commit to one or Maximum at least two clubs. Maximum only two clubs, so that's it. And yeah, I am now open to questions and remarks. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing all the wonderful information. Do you guys have any questions? Does anybody have any questions or? Wow, wow. Not, not one, okay. Maybe they will ask you later, I yeah. guess. Yeah, okay. Yeah, feel free to ask me later. So if we are reaching to the end of the event, we would like to extend our appreciation to all of you. We would like to thank you for taking time, taking off your busy schedule to join us here today. Please remember to scan the QR code on the back of your name card and fill the feedback form. Media boxes will be given out, so please remember to retrieve it before leaving. Thank you. Oh, and scan this too. <laughs> So you can scan your QR code on the back of your name card and fill the paper form. And also, there's a mirror boxes in the outside, and you can retrieve it. Uh, and I, I would like to like repeat this again. Mere bows will be given out, and please remember to retreat it before leaving. Thank you. Yes, overall, this is our like uh, in the end of our event. You, if you want to leave, you can leave now. And just remember to scan the QR code on the back of your name card and fill the feedback form.